Hi, I'm Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use alcohol inks with white accents. So let's get started. So a fun thing that you could do with these white accents is to draw a doodle with them, let it dry, and then colorize it with some alcohol ink. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the paint is flowing freely from the bottle. Sometimes it starts with a little bit of air in the nozzle, so just get it flowing. And what I did here is I have this little rainbow doodle here, I don't know if you can see it, in pencil, and it'll get covered with the um, accent so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to start in the middle with my heart. And I'll fill it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my outlines of the rainbow. And I'm going to um, be silent when I do this so I can concentrate and we'll just speed it up. Okay, and there you have it. So now we're just going to set this aside and it'll dry, let it dry. So now that it's dry, I um, am going to color it. And I'm going to use these um, detail blending tools made by Ranger as well and some Tim Holtz alcohol ink. And I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the tool and I'll start coloring my um, picture here and and that even was a, a, a little bit much I'm just all you need is a little tiny bit for this thin line now I got my orange so the first color I used was crimson, just in case you're interested. And then I'm just lightly tapping over top. And what color am I using? This is ember. And then we'll grab another tool. And I'll use some dandelion. And if you get some ink onto the cardstock, since we're working on black, um, you won't see it. So I think you do want to do this on black cardstock. I should have mentioned that before. Okay, and now next we have mojito. And another way you could do this is use the bigger like alcohol ink tool and just put um, several colors on there and just do it in like one swipe. But this way you get to color a very small air um, line when you use these tools. Okay, ready for another tool. And I'm gonna use Glacier. And I love the doodle nature of this card. It just makes it look really cute. So you don't have to worry about the lines being perfect. Okay, one more color, and that is indigo. And 
That looks really pretty, doesn't it? And this dries really fast too. So the hardest part is waiting for the white to dry. <laughs> And now we're, uh, we're ready to glue it onto a card. I just want to wave it a little bit just to make sure it's dry before I glue it down. I have a card that I pre-stamped here. And then I'm just going to tack it down. Some with the tape runner. You could also pop this up, it would be cute too. And then we'll just put it like so. And there you have it. How cute is that? So let me show you some more examples. Let me just clean this off a second for you. That's dry. And I'm going to move these out of the way a little bit so that you can see everything. Here we have a cute birthday card, and here we used a bigger um, applicator and just swiped the colors right across. And we have a video on this, and I'll put a link to this also in this up top here so that you can watch that. Here's one, the leaves. Same thing, we put all the ink on one color, on one tool, I should say. And here's just a fun, easy thing. And it's one color. And this one is a lot of fun. This, if you do a nice scribbly design like that, you don't have to worry if your lines are straight or not. Okay, and then we have this one. That's a lot of fun. It's similar, it's kind of like a rainbow too. So I hope this gives you some ideas for what to do. And we hope that you give it a try. And if you'd like to see more techniques using Ranger accents, keep watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.